Hi everyone, it's Bells. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to be talking a little bit about the books that I'm reading as an English major. Because I'm so interested in fiction and novels and how stories can be used to comment on everyday life and what stories really do for people, I read a lot of novels for my classes. I tend to pick classes that favor that. The three English classes that I'm taking are part one of a one year long Victorian novel class, part one of a romantic literature class that is also a year long, and then a fantasy and horror literature class, which is super exciting. This does not include all the short stories or the poems that I'm reading because there's quite a bit. It's just really the novels because I think that's what you guys are the most interested in anyways. On top of that, I like to have physical books for my reading, which does mean I spend a lot of money on books at the beginning of the year. So this is also kind of like a please don't buy from your school bookstore video. <laughs> Actually, I think I found literally every single book that was on my list for the semester at a used bookstore or at a lower price at other bookstores. So if you have the time and you have the ability to like go and explore your used bookstores and like see what has the best price for books, I highly recommend doing that. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but editing Bella will. <laughs> so she's gonna put the total of these books would have been had I bought them all from the U of T bookstore. And then she'll put what I actually paid for all of them, which I know for a fact is much less. <laughs> so we'll start with the Victorian novel class because I think that's like the most traditional of English classes. And we're starting with Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, which I have already started. I honestly didn't know anything about this going into it. I just knew the classic line like, please, sir, can I have some more? And it's just about this poor little orphan child in Victorian era England who's just suffering his whole life. Honestly, I'm having a pretty good time reading it, although it really is a bummer. That's the book we're starting with. I'm pretty sure through all of the books for this class, the theme is going to be like poverty during Victorian era England. The next book we're reading, I'm so excited for, and that's Jane Eyre by the lovely Charlotte Bronte. Of course, this is like one of the classic gothic novels that people know and love. I've never actually read it, so very excited for that. This is about Orphan, another orphan. Orphan Jane goes to an awful boarding school. She grows up and becomes a governess, falls in love with Mr. Rochester, but of course he also sucks. <laughs> His house is creepy and ominous and there's some weird things going on in there some pretty awful things. Okay, then we're reading Mary Barton by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is about a poor girl who gets the attention of a less poor boy and has to deal with the violence of the class conflict that ensues. This is another horrors of the low class story that's centered on factory workers and a murder, which leads to a quote, thrilling trial. Then we're reading something that I think will be more fun, which is Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. <laughs> this is another young lady trying to escape poverty story, but it's about her like performing a bunch of criminal activities mostly to her husband. Yeah, she's just like a mysterious anti-hero of a character. So I think this one will be a nice like fun break from the bummer city over here. And then the last book I'm reading for this half of the class this semester, it's gonna be A Christmas Carol, also by Charles Dickens, which is very cute. We'll end the class around Christmas time. And obviously it's the story of Scrooge and his supernatural experience with three ghosts who are all very interested in his moral development. That's that set up. Those are five books I'll be reading for that class. Um, honestly, all of them I'm pretty invested in. The one I was least excited about was Oliver Twist. I'm like genuinely interested in it. I've never actually read A Christmas Carol either. So I think that will be a good time. Always nice when classes force you to read something you actually want to read. Moving on to my fantasy and horror class. Now we're reading a lot of short stories, so I'm not gonna put those in here. A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin is gonna be the first one that we're reading. Another book that's been on my list for quite some time. I think this is like a pretty traditional quest fantasy about a young arrogant wizard Ged who accidentally releases a terrible shadow into the world um, and eventually embraces the darker part of himself. He was once called Sparrowhawk. That's a great name. I mean, this is going to be fun. I literally should be starting reading this today. I'll probably start it tomorrow. Our second fantasy novel that we're reading is Witchmark by C.L. Polk. I can't believe I found a used copy of this. This was the one I literally never heard of it and I was definitely not expecting to find it in a used bookstore, but I did and it's an ARC copy. So hopefully there's not too many differences between this and like the finalized copy, but I got it for like $3, so worth it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> this is set in like an alternate Edwardian English time period where noble families use their magical gifts to control the world, control nations. This is about Miles Singer whose gift 
either dooms him to be stuck in his family's control, I guess, or he's either committed to a witch's asylum. He goes to war to try to escape it and comes back with PTSD, total changed man, and there's a murder that he has to help with, of course, because apparently I'm just reading a bunch of stories about murders. <laughs> but also it's gay! Always happy to read some queer, queer fantasy. I think this will just be like a book I would pick up regularly, which is always fun. So then we're going to go into our horror section of this class and we're starting with Dracula. I read this like a year and a half ago, I think, and I didn't like it. I think I gave it like two stars, but that was before I was really comfortable reading a lot of older literature. And I do think that it's a muscle that you have to keep working if you're gonna enjoy, like actually enjoy older books. Um, and so I'm really excited to revisit this because I, I think I'll probably enjoy this a lot more than I did the first time. And now it forced me to actually buy a copy, which is good. The last novel I'm reading for this class is again on my TBR. Something Thing I'm so excited to read Beloved by Toni Morrison, which is a classic, another gothic story about slavery following Seth or Seath, who was born a slave and escapes, but is not really free because of her memories and she is haunted in her new house by the ghost of her child. I mean, it's gonna be a bummer, but I, I am really excited to read it. It always pops up on, on gothic book lists and I am a lover of gothics and so why haven't I read this yet? Uh, couldn't tell you. So, now we are. Also, this is like such a cool copy that I found. This edition was released only a year after the book actually came out. That's a pretty fun lineup for this class. The last book that I'm gonna talk about, so my romantic literature class is like 95% poetry, which will mostly be coming out of this textbook that I actually bought last year. We are reading a single novel next semester, but I figured I might as well include it in this because I'm reading it for this class and that way I have a third class to include in, in this video. And so we'll be reading Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Not this edition, because this is my very pretty edition and I don't want to write on this edition. I'm really excited to read this too. Another gothic that has been on my list for like a million years that I haven't read. So yay. Okay, editing Bella, how much could I have spent on all of my books this semester? And how much did I actually spend on all of my books this semester? I'm gonna pretend that I'm like shocked and surprised and like, oh my god, I saved so much money. Hopefully that's actually accurate. Oh, can I do it? Can I? Oh boy. Here we go. Oh wow. This is a lot of books. This is my reading list for the next 11 weeks. If there are any books that you're particularly interested in or want me to go more in depth into my review of, let me know. I hope to my fellow English majors and schoolers out there that you are having a good start to the semester. I wish you all luck in how much you are reading, if you are reading half as much as I am. We're reading a lot this, this semester, so I wish you speed reading, easy essay writing, and good prompts, and casual schedules. <laughs> to the people who aren't in school, I hope you're also having a good time. <laughs> okay, bye.